Faro SIEM interactive registration, one of the uh, registration methods that's relatively new in the SIEM uh, ecosystem. It's accessible by have, being in the registration tab, hitting interactive registration. What I have here is four unregistered scans um, to gain access to the registration toolbar, which is you know grayed out until you actually visualize something. Highlight your cluster that you're trying to register and hit the registration view. If you don't hit the registration view, you see the icon still became active, but it's nice actually to see your workflow. So currently I have four scans that have not been registered to each other. Uh, They're just lingering all on top of each other. If you wanna kind of see a cross section of your data that's there, you can hit the little smart clipping box icon and it'll draw a cross section of your scans. They're not registered, so it's gonna look ugly but you'll still be able to appreciate the fact that we have all scans kind of clustered on top of each other because there's no registration between them. So how do you register these? Uh, it's useful to know your sequence of steps. I don't know my sequence of steps, even though I should remember, but you can either, in this case, I know automatic registration would work. I would do a coarse registration first, then I would do a fine registration, and I'd obviously skip targets because I'm not using target-based registration. These settings are uh, manipulated or, or are going to be inherited by your settings that are here. Uh, I don't need to change any of these settings yet because I'm going to show you the third way of doing this. It's a little bit more laborious, but more satisfying because you're kind of in control of the actual data. So I'm going to add a connection. I know sequentially I should have gone from scan number one to scan number two, from scan number two to scan number three, and from scan number three to scan number four. Now, this may not be true. Uh, to get out of the uh, routine, you just hit the escape button, you see my uh, cursor actually changes. But see, now we actually have connections, and these connections are going to be uh, our driving force behind the actual registration here to honor and apply our relationship between the scans, what you need to do is after adding the connections that you think are necessary, you want to hit the button that says refine new connections. These new connections are defined by this, these blue lines between the scans. So notice this icon or this uh, setup is between one and two, which is, I guess, this guy. Yep, that's one. And this must be two here. Yep, that's two. So here you go. This little guy is between two and three. So this must be two and three over here. And then this guy is three and four, which is over there. All right. So let's hit the button that says refine connections. The algorithm pulls the data into memory, finds any commonality between them. And if there's commonality found between them, you will see that the software will find the actual statistics and it will give you a report per scan. So in my case, I failed a report on scan number one and two. So I don't have any values here. I actually have green a report, which means 0.5 millimeter tension, which is ridiculously accurate, 69% um, overlap, 47% overlap, and seven tenths of a millimeter accuracy here. Doesn't, nothing's changed in the view yet. But my statistics are there. I can actually see a little blue line instead of the um, blue, the green line instead of the blue line that was uh, representing all of them right now. In order to actually see in three dimensions what happened, you can hit the button that says optimize. When you hit optimize, nothing happens until you turn your view. So I'll start turning and now you see, oh yeah, there's actual uh, placement of scans that happened here. I can see that these two, scan number four, scan number three, and scan number two are apparently registered to each other. But for some reason, I don't have a relationship between scan number, uh, what is it, one and two here. So I can either delete it and find a better fit, or you can right click it and you can hit the button that says inspect this. Inspecting will allow you to view the data from a top down perspective. You can click the scan that you wanna do and you can actually kind of see. I know because I did this uh, myself, I know that this data that we're looking at over here should be uh, of space that is here. And you can see that there's very little commonality there. There's a little table 
that had a uh, tablecloth on it, so you can see that this is actually lining up. So it's not super likely that it's going to actually work. I can try to actually move these guys closer to each other here and look at it again from the top and see if the software is now going to be able to uh, register these two together. It's not very likely, but let's, let's give it a try. Let's hit find registration. Yeah, it's still complaining and that's just because we uh, assumed that one and two were connected to each other and yet they apparently shouldn't be connected to each other. So I'll hit cancel over here. And when I do that, I'm going to just delete this connection. So what is it? Delete. Yep. So I don't have a connection. I know by uh, hiding uh, scan number one that seems to be out of, uh, where's my visibility? There we go. This looks correct to me over here. So there's that little table that we have. Um, the scan that we are trying to register is going to be a scan that was, let's see, visible. Oh, it was out here. So we know that we have scan number. This is where a little bit of, so this is scan number four and one are supposed to be actually connected. So it's good to have field notes to know which scan was where, but if I hit add connection, I'll hit connection between one and four. So there's a connection here, which still isn't uh, live. We don't have any statistics on it because we will hit the refine connections button again. And if you're successful, you should get a green light. We now have statistics, which means if I hit the optimize button and update my view, or at least move my view, you see that now scan number one is over there, scan number two is apparently there, scan number three and four is here. Now, uh, you can see that this is kind of haphazardly connected, and that's the, um, that's the benefit of using interactive registration. You can nitpick and you can uh, scrutinize the actual connections between the scan positions. So right here, I know that sh there should be a connection from scan number, what was it, one, and this is probably scan number three over here. So this is actually, no, this was four and two that I just added. Uh, once again, it's seen as a on, uh, math, uh, unconnected scan pair right now until we hit the button that says refine. So let me hit refine connections over here and it does turn green, which is great. Sometimes the user interface give, uh, throws you a little bit of a curveball, which I'm going to try to demonstrate here. I don't know if it's going to actually work, but if I delete this connection, let's do this. Let's just do an update of my statistics. So currently I have really good results on all of these, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5 millimeters. So if I do an optimize, it will barely see any difference here. And we can hit the update statistics. That's what updates the actual traditional scan manager. And now you'll have a report that you can print. But let's do this. Let me add another connection here, a logical one between these two guys, which I previously removed, but right now it's here. Let's see if the refined connections will update my statistics here. Not always does it work. See, it didn't actually work. Let me try it again. Nothing changes and you'll be pulling your hair out, figuring out what the heck happened. Uh, I did everything right. I can even right click this connection, hit the refine and still nothing changes here and you still have no statistics. It's, that's a quirk of the interface. Uh, it's probably going to be addressed in the future. But currently what you have to do to actually do it, if you know that it should have worked, you can close the view, close and just reopen the registration view and you will see that it now populates the statistics. Again, bugs, new software, but um, in the future this, I'm sure this will be actually fixed. But currently what I have is we have a red scan manager because this hasn't been updated yet. So we have four scanners, but we only have three connections between them or four scans and three connections. Yet I have four lines here. So if I hit the update statistics here, you'll see that the scan manager will change. So we'll hit update, it's done. And there you go. So this is a quick way to show you what can be done with interactive registration without using any targets and just using targetless registration. Um, don't forget that you have a clipping box that is hidden if you want to view the whole project by just unchecking it or just deleting it now. But now I'm going to delete the actual clipping box. Yes, 
There we go. If you go into your explore view where you do all of your, you know, uh, uh, noise removal and manipulation, your registration is done. Your scan manager has values on it and everything's uh, actually set for you to move on to the next stage of your project. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.